Hello! This video is about starting a music festival in under five minutes. Impossible, you say. Not at all. Watch this. First of all, you may be wondering, who is this old fool telling us how to put on a music festival? Well, I'm 66 now and I've put on quite a few music festivals in my time. Mostly, well, all of them in England um, and um, none of them have been wildly successful, but they've been quite big and people love them. So look up Rhythm Festival if you get a chance. How do you start? It's going to take a bit more than five minutes to organise, but we've only got five minutes to talk about it. So first of all, you need to work out who is the festival for? Who do you want to attract? So when you find out who you want to attract and make sure there are enough of them and you have access to these people, because we'll come to that later, then that's a good place to start. So the next thing to do is find out where you want to stage your festival. Um, there are two options here, two main options. The first option is indoors. You can either go to a theatre complex that's got more than one venue in which everything is enclosed and that has the advantage that everything you want like PA and staging and security and all kinds of things like that will be there and ready for you but people tend to prefer outdoor festivals so that would require probably at its most basic a field and a friendly farmer what I suggest is that you um, find somewhere that's already holding a festival of some kind not necessarily the same type as you in fact it would probably be better if it's not the same type because then you, you're not going to be seen as competing with that person for for the same people so you want to find a place for example that's i found in 2005 when i was looking for places i found a 1940s glenn miller festival being held at twinwood arena which was a RAF base in bedfordshire and that was ideal because they had stages built and all kinds of things so that was good three you've got to book your entertainment first of all work out how many stages you're going to have that might be to do with you your venue you. The more stages you have, the more it's going to cost. That's the first thing to bear in mind. So, um, and also as well, it's also going to cost more in terms of PA, PA system. You've got to have stage crew. You've got to pay the bands. You're going to need at least three headline acts, one for each day, and then acts that are in the same kind of ballpark that people who go to it are going to want to watch as well this obviously is like the art of it is to get the entertainment right are you going to provide entertainment for children for example is it that market all these things you have to think about acts can be expensive especially the headline acts the big danger is that you don't book acts that are big enough which means that not enough people are going to come in which case you're going to lose money so you don't want to do that so it's a balancing act between not paying it too much for your headline acts and paying the enough that's going to pull people in right so by the time you get to this stage you're going to realize it's going to cost you an absolute fortune so you've got to have a budget you've got to know exactly what it's going to cost you depending on where you're going to hold it there'll be lots of extra costs you don't expect such as fencing and security toilets generators outside lighting camping it is a complete nightmare so you're going to need help that's the next thing so you're going to have to budget as well for people to help you like people to organize the the camping because you can organize that it's not rocket science organizing camping especially if you go to a festival first to find out how they organize it it's a lot of time a lot of work so you're better off finding somebody and doing all that now the big thing i think you've got to do is don't do a festival next year do a festival the year after so you can go to a festival to a load of festivals in the meantime and see how everybody does things and steal caterers and steal ideas and people so you've got the best people and the best ideas for your festival then when you've got all these worked out you get all planned and you, get, and you know who's going to appear when and where and what's going to happen you, the next move is to advertise it is to let the people that you want to attract know that it's on um, this now is more done online than in 
print. So that's it really, so that's how you organise a festival in under five minutes. Um, of course it's going to take you hours and hours and hours and it's a lot of hard work but it can be very rewarding. And so if you like this please like, if you didn't like it then move on and please subscribe whether you liked it or not that'll teach you and also please let me know what you think by commenting thank you very much for watching and see you next time under five minutes or maybe just a little bit more bye bye